and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it is Sunday, obviously. Football Sunday. I'm pretty excited to start watching these games pretty soon. But before we do that, we obviously got to get our content video done for the day, which is the Football Outsiders. Now, Football Outsiders, we haven't heard of them in quite a few, quite a while, honestly. I don't know the last time you guys remember. I posted this video maybe like, I want to say at least three weeks ago, right? We had Amari Cooper. I'm going to show you guys what the old player drops were so you guys have an idea to refresh your memory. Uh, Football Outsiders, I don't know if they do they drop once a month, once every three weeks. I don't really know. Let's see if we can see a date on here. 11.03. Yeah, this one just pulled today. I wonder if any are selling from a while ago. 10.08. Yeah, some of these are pulled the first week of... Okay, yeah, so it's every month. I guess the first week of every month because these were this one was pulled the first week of October. So that makes about sense. So yeah, I haven't done this video in about a month. So these are some of the guys that have been pulled already, obviously. These are the ones from the first drop. Quite a few players were dropped the first time. We have a few players to expect today. I know Quinn and Williams is getting a card, so that does, in fact, mean that our Quinn and Williams rookie premier will be going up in overall. We do not know his exact overall yet, so we're going to have to go check that out. But if he does get a nice overall boost, that will be pretty cool. Because he is a defensive tackle. So defensive tackles, typically, we don't like buying. We don't like having. So it will be pretty cool if we get a decent overall. I'm going to go check if his thing is there right now. But, guys, by the way, also, pretty much the basis for... The football outsiders it's just like cards with those weird stats like those espn type stats like pat tillman has the most um the highest dvor or whatever you know like those weird ass stats and no one really knows those are kind of the football outsider cards let's see if quinn williams got his upgrade yet yes he did so quinn williams is an 87 overall defensive tackle let's check out his stats real quick before we get to all the rookie premieres obviously this is one of them so quinn williams 75 speed 83 excel 86 strength 82 tackle 79 excel uh, play rec 82 blocks 75 power 69 nice move this is the worst 87 overall I think I've seen in my life. See, I don't... What is wrong with EA? They give us two rookie premier upgrades, right? Quentin Williams and Nick Bosa so far. That are good. And they're both ass. Look at this. He doesn't have one stat above an 86. And almost every stat... Oh, pretty much take away strength and he has no stats above an 83. 87 overall. What are they doing? I bet he has like a really... Watch, just throw under pressure. It's crazy or something. All right, let's go see. Tackle, decent. Jumping, bad. Stiff arm, bad. Impact impact blocking is good. That's about it, though. Pursuit's good. But I don't really care for his pursuit as much. Hit power is good. Please, let me know how he's an 87 overall with these stats. There's no way. There's literally no way. Let's compare him to another defensive tackle. My Michael Pierce, 85. Isn't as athletic as him, obviously. But still, that block shedding is horrendous. The play wreck is horrendous. Finesse and power move are horrendous. I don't really know what they're doing here. I guess he's a pure run stuffer, but even then, he's not that great at that. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go see if the packs are out at least. Or let's see if the price increased on the packs, because obviously, I think the packs are always out. Training currency, football outsiders, 3,320. Yeah, I do believe that is new, right? 86 to 91 overalls. So there are 91 overalls now. As you can see, Justin Tucker is one of the cards. I don't know who that number 50 is. I don't I want to say. Is KJ Wright still there? Gonna be one of those guys, but Justin Tucker is one of the new drops. So let's go head over to the auction block and see as they start getting posted and go check out their stats. Uh, before we get into the video, though, guys, make sure to give a go down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get the video to 200 likes. You guys have been killing it with the support lately, so I greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't already, comment down below. What do you think of football outsiders? Are you a fan of this? Do you just like do you like the idea of it, or is it something that Madden drops once a month? And you're like, eh, you're like indifferent about it. Let me know. Um, uh, once the cards start getting better, like they are now, it'll be more useful. And also hit that. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Come join the family. Turn on the noti bell. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out and join the family. So, let's keep grinding out to 20k, boys. Now, let's go over to Football Outsiders. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to the newest. See what's getting pulled. See what's getting pulled. Corey Lindsley. Is that a new one? 11.03. I want to say that's a new one. Nicole, yeah, McCall Hardman. Brett Kern, AJ Johnson. Austin Hooper. Yeah, these are all new ones, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, it was KJ right. Okay, okay. So, let's start, let's start from the bottom. Uh, Quinn Williams. So Quinn Williams, we already saw him. Obviously, the card art's pretty cool, actually, but not a great card. Justin Tucker, I'm actually excited for. What's his kick power? 90 kick power, 90 kick accuracy. Let's compare him to my Graham Gano. All right, so this might be a scoop, actually. How much better is he than the other kicker? Uh, oh, Austin Eckler got a card too. Where's the other kicker? Where is Joey Sly? Joey Sly. Um, similar, similar. Not really much better. So I don't know if the stats worth it. Austin Eckler, 90 overall halfback. 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility. Okay, 85 break tackle, 85 carrying, 86 elusive. This card's actually really, really good. 
What is, is he evasive? Yeah, an evasive back. So that card's actually pretty good. Uh, Marcus Davenport, I think that also might be a new one, right? Right, it looks like he might be a new one too. 84 speed, 88 excel, 94 tackle, 84 block shed, 81, I mean 81 block shed, 84 power move, 80 play rec, 81 strength. Card's pretty good, pretty athletic. Um, not a great pass rusher or run stuffer though, so I'm kind of out on that card. Terry McLaurin, he's been out, right? I, I mean, I'm, I'm almost positive he's been out. Let's see, Corey Lindsley. Lin Lindsley, yeah. 88 strength, 89 awareness, 84 pass block, 83 pass block power, 85 run block finesse, 81 run block finesse, 85 pass block finesse, sorry. I don't, sorry, I was thinking ahead, like, I don't really like this card. Uh, for my centers, I like to have good run blocking first, and he's the opposite, and his pass blocking isn't too great quite either, to be completely honest. Let's see, now, McCall Harbin's a speed demon, I'm pretty sure, so he should have some good, no. 94 speed this might make my team 94 speed McCole Harmon okay that's a little ridiculous he's fast but he ain't that fast that is ridiculous he's making the squad he's making the squad as a kick returner first off what are his after what's what's the stats kick return 92 okay decent juke okay yeah he's making he's making the squad he's gonna make the squad that that is insane McCole Hardman, 94 speed. Wow. If that guy gets below 100k, it's a budget beast. He's got de decent catching stats, too, and decent route running. McCole Hardman's a beast. He's going for way too cheap, quite honestly, with you guys. Quite honestly, he's going for way too cheap. Wow. Okay, okay, let's, let's keep going, though. KJ Wright, 78 speed, 82 excel, 91 tackle, 90 play rec, 81 block. So he can barely run stuff. He can barely, he can't pass rush. He can decently tackle. Does he at least have a decent zone? I feel like KJ Wright always had a decent zone. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's really far down. 82 zone. Yeah, so he's like a decent, a very, very decent outside guy. I'm not really a fan of him. Um, Brett Kern. 92 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. Does he, how much better is he than Treyway? Yeah, I kind of need a new punter. My punter's kind of ass. Treyway's been, he, he's been a vet. He's been on my team for two years now. I have not, literally have not upgraded him ever. But, it might be about that time. Jordan Hicks. I'm on Tyler Charlong. He's been around for, but I'll go over him anyways. 80 speed, 85 excel, 87 tackle, 81 hit power, 82 play rec. Decent budget beast. Uh, speed's a little too low, but the other stats are okay. I want to see Austin Hooper's stats. Let me... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Let me refresh real quick and see Austin Hooper because uh, that one's going to keep kicking me out. Troy Hill we got here. Austin Hooper, 80 speed, 85 catching traffic, 82 spec catch, 91 catching. Decent run blocking. This card's okay. Not, uh, he's a great, he's a decent tight end, but the issue is that he's going to be too expensive at the time being, but if he gets below, like, 70k, not a bad tight end, although I'd probably still rather have George Kittle. Let's see the other car, which is Troy Hill, 86 cornerback for the Rams, 85 speed, 89 excel, 90 agility, decent athleticism, 84 jumping, 83 ex uh, play rec, and 84 zone. I like how an 86 overall Troy Hill cornerback is way better looking than that Quentin Williams 87, because that's what they do. They don't give our rookie premieres good stats. It's very, it's very funny how that works once it's catching. 69 decent aj johnson a linebacker for the denver broncos 80 speed 86 excel 93 tackle 93 hit power 80 block shed 81 play rec. guys this card looks better than quentin williams this card right here looks like luke keekley luke keekley without zone if you ever wanted to luke keekley without zone it's aj johnson on the on the broncos guys i'm pretty this was this was a pretty good drop that mccall hardman is going in the title you guys are going to be seeing that and i promise you I will be scooping up that McCole Harbin for the team. You have to. Okay, hold on. I got, I got to sort this by Chiefs, guys. This is crazy. 78K. He is going for way too cheap. Just think about it. You know how overpowered 94 speed is? I toss Shaker on this guy, or he can't get Shaker. He's like a power. Damn. But still, this guy right here is going to have a 94 speed with decent catching stats. He's going to be my slot receiver. Hands down. Boys, it's official. I'm buying my first receiver for the year. I have not bought one. I have to, right? Look, compare him to like anyone. He has a plus four speed on everyone besides Tory Holt, but that speed, I throw him like a drag. He could take every single catch to the house. I'm gonna have to get rid of this Juju Smith again. Damn. I was gonna say, I did not toss Shaker on him, right? Yeah, I can't. He's not even a power up. This McCall Hartman's pretty insane, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me, let me just refresh real quick to make sure I didn't miss any, but I think I got all of them. I kind of have a pretty good eye for what, what came out and what didn't there. Oh, uh, yeah, that should be about it. Best ones from this um, McCall Hartman's, McCall Hartman's good. I'm a big Justin Tucker fan. Austin Eckler is really good. Austin Hooper is decent, but going to be too expensive. And those are pretty much the ones I liked. I mean, like I said, biggest ones, McCall Hardman and Justin Tucker. Oh, Richie Incognito, that's a new one. 
real quick. Uh, pass blocking, decent. Run blocking, bad. Need run blocking this year. And he bullies other people. All right, that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Come join the family, boys. Comment down below who is your favorite one. What do you think of Michael Hardman? And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.